Once you've finished all your facts and you've used two websites, then you're ready to move on with your slides. We're going to use Google Slides for this so that we can make our images interactive. To get to Google Slides, you want to open Google Chrome and type in slides period Google period com. You may go ahead and pause this video until you have it in and press enter. Once you hit enter, it should look something similar to this. Yours down here in the bottom isn't going to look quite like mine, but up here in the top it should look the same. If you need to log in, it's just like when we log in with Google Classroom. It's going to be your login at kids period udasd period org. So it's going to look something like this. To get the at sign, you need to shift, hold the shift down and press the number two at the top of your keyboard. Once you have your email in, it's going to ask you for your password. And your password, just like logging into Google Classroom, is capital U D A, your lunch number followed by the explanation point, unless you don't use the explanation point. Now once you're in, this is what it should look like. You want to come over here where it says blank and you're going to hit a plus sign. This looks very similar to PowerPoint. It works very much the same. It's just a matter of finding where the tools are. They're in a little bit different spot than they are in PowerPoint. Your themes, you do not have as many choices as you do in PowerPoint. They're over here to the right. If you would like to choose one of these, you're more than welcome to. You do not have to. If you would like to just change the color of your slide, over here in the middle it says background. You can click on that and then you can choose a color. We do not want to go to images yet. We'll talk about that later. Now where it says click to add title, I want you to uh, put in your topic. And where it says click to add subtitle, you're going to type in by your first name and then your last name. Whoops. Make sure those names are capitalized. Then you're ready to add your first slide. To add a new slide, you come up here to the top left corner where it says plus. You click on the plus and it's going to automatically give you a new slide. Now here where it says click to add title, I want you to give your, uh, your first fact a title. So if I look at my first fact, seahorses are tiny fishes that are named for the shape of their head, which looks like the head of a tiny horse. So on my slide I might say, um, name origin. Okay. And then down the bottom this is where I would put my fact and I also need to put my website. So I would click and drag the whole thing, control C, and then go back to my slide, control V. And there it pops in. You'll notice that the hyperlink is still there and you'll also see the number one. I can get rid of the number one and that is teeny tiny. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight just my facts. I'm going to come up here to where it says 10.5 and I'm going to make that number bigger. That's going to make my words bigger. And then I can also hit enter and move my hyperlink down below. That'll make things a little bit easier for me as well. Now then I'll come up here and hit plus, go to my next fact. Now if some of my facts have more than one sentence, that's okay. I find a common word. I use that as the title, control C, control V, my title is going to be species, okay. I'm going to get rid of the number one by backspacing it out, I'm going to hit some couple enters, drop my website down lower, and then I'm going to take my size of my font and make it much bigger because that's crazy small. Oh, now it went down below, so I'm just going to delete some of those enters and get that back up there. Okay. Now, you do need to make sure you save this. This saves much different than PowerPoint. We don't have to go through the whole file box and the save as and desktop. What you're going to do is come up here to Untitled Presentation, and you're going to click on that. It should automatically put in your title as long as you do it first. Um, it not necessarily. You might have to change that. Just make sure it's something in here. 
This will save automatically as long as you click out of the box. So if I want all this to save, I'm going to have to click back into Species or add a new slide, and then it will stay there. I can show you then later how we're going to go ahead and access this because it's not going to be in our desktop folder. What it's going to be in instead is our drive, and we'll talk about that then. Okay? Get all your facts in, and then we'll talk about that interactive image.